apologies for the graphics there. That obviously wasn't Tim David's Dino. No, it wasn't. But this is at the crease. One wicket down. Good player. Tim David's. We called wide. He's, got, he's had the opportunity to represent the Perth Scotchers in the Big Bash League as well. So plenty of T20 experience. Absolutely. There we go. Timothy David. Big, strong, energetic batter. Has good, solid strokes. And he's off the mark. But just when the two name when the two Singapore batsmen seem to be set, Karan Casey comes up with a peach of a delivery to remove Rohan Rangarajan. Just did enough off the pitch to get that edge. Benod Bandari made no mistake. Wickets are gonna hold the key here. And a good long Chandra Mohan once again. We saw a bit of that from Paras Katka last evening. And he's fancying the smaller, the shorter mid-wicket boundaries. That's probably on his mind, you know. Absolutely. He's shown uh, a keenness to try and hit the ball over the onside when the ball's a bit pitched up and a little bit straighter. side field and it's actually gone for four thought they were just going to get a couple there but enough on that to get over the boundary thick inside edge takes the score to 28 with a couple of balls to go in the fourth over All or nothing sort of innings from Surendran Chandra uh, He probably will get himself once, yes. He's swatting it hard. Isn't necessarily coming out of the meat of the bat. 12. And I think that's what's most important. Runs on the board. Early in the innings, 30 for one now, a ball to go in the fourth over. They won't mind how those runs come, Singapore, as long as they do. Hello? Hello? I'm here. Silver side chips are wrong, Steven chips are blue side. What do you know here? भैया आज ना शाम को सात बजे के बाद आना भी पानी अभी तक नहीं आया है और सात बजे के बाद पानी आएगा एक्चुअली भैया इधर मेरा फिर सात बजे बाद इधर काम है भैया फिर नौ बजे उधर दूसरे जगह जाना पड़ेगा नहीं हो पाएगा क्या सात बजे नहीं हो पाएगा ना भैया चलो फिर रहने दो मंडे आ जाना चलेगा सॉरी बर्तन होने � आह सुबह सुबह तो आ जाऊँगा सुबह छः बजे आ जाऊँगा कल सुबह छः बजे हाँ ठीक है कल सुबह बर्तन होने आ जाना तेरे चलेगा चलेगा but from the Nepali bowlers today Srinath Chandramani is living a little dangerously isn't he Tino he is indeed he's really looking to get on with things just a couple of overs to go till the end of uh, the six over power play. They're wanting to take as much advantage of uh, these last deliveries 
as possible. Cut away straight to the man. In the back of their minds, we talked about how often these two teams play against each other. Played against each other for uh, the last spot for the World T20 qualifiers in Dubai next month. They will know how dangerous Lamy Chani is. They would have watched him last night. And in the back of their minds, they're thinking... So going to be four very difficult overs to get through. Let's try and get as many as we can off the other bowlers. Beautifully driven. Very ordinary effort on the field there. Straight through the cover's legs and that runs away for a boundary. Gifting four runs to Tim Davids here. Doesn't matter how they come as long as they come. A good looking conventional cover drive. Went straight through the fielder's legs there. Very interesting tactics from Paris Katka. We haven't seen We're into the fifth over. So they've obviously discussed this thoroughly, have the Nepal team with the management because they ran through Lamichani's overs in the first seven overs yesterday and we still haven't seen him bowl today. So interesting tactics. Good running and good fielding again from Nepal. Good pick up. I think Tim David could have been in trouble here had that ball hit the stumps direct. However, lives to see another day. I'm sure that conversation will be about. Let's just be careful. These guys are quick in the field, mm. accurate with their throws. No need to get an unnecessary run out at this stage. That was Arif Sheikh at midwicket, and boy, was he quick. Quick to get to the ball and even quicker to release. Shot outside off, and he makes enough contact to get himself another boundary. Surendran Chandramohan is starting to express himself here, and he will have to say that he's been a bit lucky once again. It's just brute force, and he's trying to muscle the ball, and he does exactly that this time on the offside. Two bounces, and then it rolls over the boundary line. And taking advantage of that room on the offside. Another one who likes to stay leg side of the ball, so any sort of width is exaggerated by that. The stage, obviously, just the two men back on the boundary. Deep backwards, square leg, and third man. Deep backwards come up now, and the sweep has gone back on the offside because of that shot. This time, bang, straight back over the bowler's head. And that's the first six of the day. He's gone slightly shorter in length, Sompal. And this one, he's got a meaty connection. Five overs gone, 45 for one. One over to go in the power play. Singapore have lost one wicket, but they've made some steady progress. 45 for one. New captain, Timothy David, very fresh at the crease, just six from five. But uh, Chandra Mohan has been getting on with the business at the other end. 30 from just 15 balls. 200% strike rate and looking good. We're wondering when he was going to come into the attack. Lamichane and straight away turn. <coughs> My good friend Nav has just popped out the commentary box and I'm joined by Adrian Abraham for the first time in the series. Abraham, good to have you. Uh, good evening, good evening and uh, welcome to this game today. Where, uh, yeah. Great shot there. Timothy David really starting to get a move on here. 
Sandy Blavichane not getting his line right there. Smashed away to the boundary. Lots of purchase from him from this wicket last night. We saw that already from the first ball today. Tim Day with lots of experience. Would have faced him a lot. You'll know how important it is to ensure that Sandeep Lamanchani doesn't get wickets and breakthroughs, especially early on in the innings. <laughs> Absolutely. Direct it again, and this could be trouble. Umpire not interested. Now we've talked countless times last night, today, about how often the Nepal fielders hit the stumps. Quick single, decided to get on and move on it pretty quickly. It was home comfortably in the end. But again, something to bear in mind and consider for these uh, Singapore batters. They're very sharp, aren't they? Fielders from Nepal. Decent first over, six gone, 50 for one.